Good morning. Um, so it's time for our third video on repeats. Um, today I've gone for love hearts, as we can see, rather than the birds. Um, I, I kind of wish they came off my hands as well, that would be fun. Anyway, this is a slightly longer video, so I'm not going to talk any longer. Um, more advanced, um, but still fairly basic repeats. Enjoy! And welcome back. Um, so following on from my previous couple of videos, I'm now going to, we're going to move on um, to a slightly more complicated repeat where we can uh, work with an image which falls off the edge of the picture, like here, this painting has been painted off the side. Um, so if we just do as we were doing before, by going into image and into canvas size and changing our uh, measurements into pixels. So we'll come up with these numbers and then we're going to divide both of those numbers by two, write them down or memorize them. Um, and then we're going to go into filter, other, offset. Again, I'm just going over what we did in the last previous emails, this stage, so it's fairly simple at this point. So we'll just press offset. And then what's going to happen is we're going to write our new measurements in each box. Again, my computer's memorized them because I've done this before. But so half of the um, canvas size goes into offset and we press OK. Now what we have here are these lines, these unattractive lines. We don't really want those on our repeating pattern. So I'm going to show you now how to cover those up. Um, exactly the same image. I've saved it twice on my desktop or you can drag into a new layer or uh, oops, something like whichever way you want to just open up two of the same images. So that was it before. That's it now. So we're just going to go on to this one. I just need to flatten that. Excuse me one moment. I swear I've been working on it before for something else. So we want to now delete ideally this white background again. So we're going to drag this layer in the bottom corner onto that square and create a new layer. So we've just dragged that layer onto the square and now we have a replica layer. Um, and what we want to do is we want to delete the original background layer. So we've basically pasted one on top, which we're going to work on, and now we're going to delete the background, pressing delete on your keypad. So I'll just show you that again. Drag down and then delete like so. Then we're going to go over to our toolbar and choose our faithful magic wand again magic wand tool and then we're going to click on the white and using our keypad once it's all been collected, selected and as I said in my last email, uh, email in my last uh, video uh, you can sometimes play around with the tolerance <clears throat> if you're having trouble selecting all of it or is selecting too much so then just press delete and it will delete all of that white for you, like so. So what the aim of the game is, if we just go back to this image here, the one where we have used the filter, we want to cover up these lines because when it's repeated these ones are going to fit nicely in because they're the ones that we've repeated but these are still going to be visible. So we're going to go to the one that we've just been working on and we're going to choose, I mean, there's many different ways you can do this, but an easy, brief, quick one that I'm just going to show you now is to use this lasso tool, the spiky lasso tool. Uh, this is probably the easiest one at present. So where you can see this checkerboard that is there's no image there so you can you can go on to that and that's fine it's, it's not going to copy and paste that checkerboard so what we're going to do is we're just going to go around one of our 
flowers. I'm just going to take a little bit of that one. And this is up to you. And this, you know, you can take some time. I'm going to do super, super quickly just to show you. But you can take some time really delicately going around them, making this really beautiful. Um, just going to go around a flower or, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to. I'm going to take that leaf as well. Bring it round to the start again, and then it will do this little dotted line. So we've sit, basically we've like drawn a little line around this flower section. Then what we want to do is, from the lasso tool, we want to press onto the move tool. So I'll just repeat what I've done again there. So we've gone into lasso. We've drawn delicately around our flower and then we've clicked the move tool <clears throat> and then what it's done is it's put it in this little box and then so it's, it's selected that section so then we're going to go up uh, to edit and we're going to press copy Again, there are other ways of doing this, there are shortcuts and so on, but I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. So press copy. So drawn around it with our lasso, clicked on the move tool, selected it, gone up to edit and pressed copy. Then we're going to go back into our, our the, the image that we're going to be repeating. <clears throat> and we're going to go back up to edit and we're going to press paste. Edit, paste. And what that's going to do is paste the flower from our last image onto our new image, which is ideal. And then we're going to just gently fit quite, you know, again, this is something you can work on for a while and take your time over, and I'm just going to do it really quickly. But we're just going to, without going off the edge of the page, you don't want to go off the edge of the page because that will give you more lines. So, you cannot, so staying within the page. Um, oops, I just need to get my charge back. Um, sorry. So, staying within the page, we're going to basically just put that flower on there. And then you can use the move, as I showed you in the last video, you can just move that around to wherever you think looks nice. Like so. Press enter. And then we're going to go back and do the same again. So we're going to take our lasso tool again. And we're going to select a different section. So I'm going to take this nice green leaf. And again, remembering that checkerboard isn't going to have any picture. That won't copy over as a checkerboard. That's just the base, basic ground, which has no, currently has no picture on. Um, so I'm just going to you know, do something like that. Again, I'm doing this really, really, really roughly because just trying to show you quickly. So again, we go over, we press move, then we go edit, copy again. So we're doing the same thing again, and then back onto our original image, edit, paste. So then we're gonna just gonna go back again, play around with that, try and cover and try and cover up the lines. I don't know why I'm not closing. Not going off the edge of the paper, remember, keeping within. Keeping that image within. It doesn't matter if the box goes over, the box is, uh, is fine, but the image needs to stay within this section. And we're covering up these lines, these unattractive lines. So let's just do that again. Go back to our full image, take our lasso, click, 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 lots of clicking around parts of the image which you want to use and it will vary on your image you might need to be a lot more precise this is quite a good one because because of the painty nature um, it's you can't really notice when there's bits in the background but you you know you may have to be more precise over that so then click move click edit 
it copy back to our original, sorry, to our repeat one, edit and paste. Add one on top. And then you can also just select the ones you had before and copy, uh, copy and paste those as well. Now the way to do that, so click on him and then you'll go to edit and you'll be like, oh sugar, I can't copy it. So you, what you need to do is that it's created all these different layers that we're adding on top. So that's a layer, that's a layer, that's a layer. So we've selected layer one. And then we're just going to drag that down onto that square. And that's going to copy our flower. Now, um, I think I'm just going to, so I'm just going to do that again. And I'm not going to, I mean, if this was, if I was doing this with more time, I'd be using the different sections and so on. and making it look very beautiful, but I'm going to just do this really, really super quickly. So you can move it around like that, press enter. So now let's just use this. So now what we need to do, once we've met, played around and covered up all the lines, we go back to what we learned before. We're now back at the same stage where we go edit, so edit and define brush, sorry, define pattern. Press OK, call it what you want, save it as PDF. And then if we're going to open up our new A4 sheet, just because that's what we've been using, we go down to our moon button, our circular button here, new, create new fill. And we put our up the list to pattern. And then we press OK. And as you can see, we now have this repeat which doesn't have any ugly lines on it. Um, and again, if you want to experiment with the scale, you can. So you can try it as 50, you can try it as 20. Um, or you can keep it as 100. Um, but then, so you, as you can see, you've now, whereas as before you would have had all of these lines across it, you've now covered those up. And then you can go further into it, you know, well, actually maybe there's far too many red flowers and green leaves, etc. and, and, and uh, do a more complex design. Um, yeah, so have a go with that, and have a good day. <laughs>